Hello and welcome to our brief video tours highlighting the work of each artist in the Alternative Paths show. Now we're going to start with Jonathan Merritt whose work are cyanotypes. We have three pieces uh, by John in the show and I'm just going to sort of move around because we do have the lights on in the gallery uh, so it might be difficult to fully appreciate the work. It'd be so much better in person. Um, but this particular piece is called From a Walk in the Woods. It is a tannic cyanotype on colored paper. It is framed to size 17 by 22 and is for sale for $200. Um, it's really a beautiful piece of work. You can see uh, brush strokes as John had uh, applied the chemistry uh, or the photosensitive emulsion directly to the surface of the paper to make this print. Um, cyanotype is a contact printing process, normally a process associated with the color blue. We'll see the next two have a bit more of a, maybe a blue range. This is the second of the images. Um, again, I'm just going to sort of move it around a bit so that you can see it without so much reflection on the glass. This one is titled Ontario. This is another example of a tannic cyanotype, also framed to size 17 by 22. This one's also for sale for $200. And finally, we have our third image by John. Um, this one is sort of a nighttime scene. Again, you see the same brush strokes. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell. The color here is a bit more like a midnight blue or like a steel gray. This is called Long Exposure on State Parkway. It's a yerba mate cyanotype. Yerba mate is a type of tea, um, and it's also framed to 17 by 22 and is $200. Uh, John actually um, had prepared a statement for the show, which uh, we're not able to, um, we don't have posted here, but I'll go ahead and read it. He said, in my practice, photochemical discoveries are a frequent source of inspiration. The alternative processes allow a more direct interaction with the chemistry in our prints and this makes these processes consistently exciting for me. I love teaching the traditional darkroom techniques, but over the past few years, I've spent a considerable, considerable amount of time with the cyanotype process. Traditionally blue, this process is remarkably mutable. Pushing the limits of its own color representation keeps it fresh, and there's nothing quite like making prints out in the sun. Though, admit, admittedly, most of these prints were made with artificial UV light sources given Rochester's weather. Ephemera, landscape, and water are frequent subjects in my work. I also have an affinity for shooting at night, letting the length of a long exposure subtly transform a scene. You can read more about John's process, see more of his work at his website, johnmerrittphoto.com. That's J-O-N-M-E-R-R-I-T-T photo.com. Or follow him on Instagram at johnmphoto.